weekend. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. <laughs> It's officially Friday and your girl is off work. Okay, that's enough of my non-dancing. Um, I'm getting ready to head to the mall real quick. Y'all like my jacket? I actually got it for five bucks from Forever 21 like a couple weeks ago. Anywho, paired with my leggings, these actually came in a set from Fashion Nova, like a two-piece set. And then your girl's got her black and white hirachis. But yeah, I'm just going to run to the mall, see what we can find, and get our weekend started. <laughs> go pick pumpkins there's a peach patch like further down it just goes on and on and on but it's just such it's a perfect day it's like in the mid 60s so we're just gonna go have fun and pick some pumpkins So the orchard is 
is it orchard or orchard? Orchard. The orchard that John took us to just so happened to be right down the street uh, from one of our favorite wineries. Uh, it's called Great Creek here in Fredericksburg. So we're just going to do a tasting uh, while we're here. And they have everything like pretty isolated. So it should be cool. She was sharing with us that membership is free and they do three wines, I think, every two months or something like that. So, so they have like 40 grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. It's like drinking a Coke. Right. This one is 12% alcohol oh. and it has only about four or five grams of sugar. Sounds like my right. cup of tea. High alcohol, lots of flavor, no sugar. Yeah. Okay. It's like the best. Which one is this one called? That's the Muscat Canal. It's on okay. the sweet side. Okay. okay. So I'm trying this one. So I'm going to start you out with Merlot. Okay. Now the Merlot, this one's a classic Bordeaux style Merlot. So what I mean by that, a lot of Merlots in the U.S. tend to be acidic and kind of um, tannic mm -hmm. and super dry. Mm -hmm. This one is very smooth, elegant, sophisticated. This is how Merlot wants to taste. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you guys, John is making us members of the wine club. We had Samantha help us, or she facilitated our tasting, and she was such a jewel. So I'm excited. We're going to get our wine now and then grab some food. later in the day and John had the great idea to make some like candy apples but we're actually gonna make a chamoy version that we found online so if you're not familiar with what chamoy is it's like a it's a candy that comes in like liquid form and candy form and it's how would you describe it like salty sweet I don't know but it's good <laughs> So um, let me show you what we have. We've got our apples here. These are pink lady apples. And then John had gotten some other type of apples just in case we want a variety. But he's taking out the tamarind candy. That's the brand. 
and then what are we gonna do oh we're actually going to dip them in this this is the chamoy candy we're gonna dip the apples in this melt this tamarind candy put it over the apple and then put some of this on top of there and then the tajin we'll sprinkle it with tajin so i'll just show you we're gonna jam out to some music here so i'll fast forward and show you how it turns out Hello beautiful people. Um, so it's a new day and uh, me and John actually just got back from voting. Today's actually the last day to early vote. So um, and thankfully our place of employment is actually a voting um, poll place. So it literally was no wait. But anywho go exercise your right sis. Go exercise your right bro. Um, if you weren't able to early vote you know the day. Lock that bad boy in and do your civic duty. I'm actually getting ready to go run a few errands. I need to go to at home to grab some hanger, more hangers for my closet. Uh, I need to go to Sephora because I have bought some foundation, my regular foundation shade in the Smashbox. Um, full coverage foundation. I don't know the exact name right now, but um, I bought my regular foundation shade. But since I've been working out a lot more outside, um, I need to get a shade darker. So I'm going to go exchange that. I need to go to the grocery store to get groceries for the week. So yeah, just a few little things I need to do before uh, the weekend ends and the work week starts. So yeah, hope y'all are having a great day so far and uh, let's go.
Alright you guys, after like 50 distractions, um, I came in here for some hangers. I need to get, I think these are the ones I get. Um, this is like the cheapest place I've been able to find the felt hangers. Even like, people always recommend Home Goods and, and Ross and stuff, but I, um, I haven't found them any, uh, cheaper. So, seven bucks for a 10 pack is the lowest I've seen. I mean, if you've seen them anywhere else let me know but um i've been buying them here for a while they even have oh yeah this is the one i get actually the 25 pack for 10 bucks so if the 10 pack is seven just for three more bucks you get more than double so pretty good deal in my opinion but yeah i'm just gonna get two more packs of these because i'm running low and i'm going straight to check out you guys so i'm not distracted <laughs> Hey y'all so I got what I needed at, at home I told you about the uh, Smashbox foundation that I got the other week this is the one I've been using this for at least four or five months um, actually I started using it when it first came out maybe last year it's the full studio skin is what it's called I was trying to remind uh, remember the name earlier but I didn't know I couldn't think of it but it's the Smashbox full coverage foundation I think it came out last year anyway I was like using it real ham when it first came out because I love I'm a full coverage girl like if I'm gonna put some makeup on it's probably gonna be full coverage um i.e. why most we only wear makeup on the weekends but anywho so this is my regular shade the 405 yeah 4.05 but I was looking up on the Sephora app to see if they had what the next shade would be because I don't know if you've shopped in Sephora since um, COVID but it's just like hard like you can't test out products and stuff like that and if you do like you've got to call the attendant and like wearing a mask and stuff it's just it's seemed too much so I've just been shopping like if I need to read up on stuff I've just been getting it online but I was in the mall when I bought this and I was like oh let me grab that foundation while I'm here but anywho I wanted to see what the next shade up would be so this is what it looks like on the website but yeah if you're a full coverage girl like me it's not cakey it's not heavy um, and a little bit goes a long way. I haven't had to, to re-up on this foundation in quite some time. So if I'm a 4.05, that is dark uh, undertone warm peach. See, and it looks so much darker online. Like that's 4.05 and then look at my face. Like, what? So, anywho, that's why it's hard to buy foundation online. Like either go with something you already know your shade match to um or just wait until you can test it so the next one will be 4.15 but it's a cool undertone and i definitely have warm peachy undertones golden undertones so mm, i might try it i'm just gonna screenshot this and see if it works if anything i might keep this foundation and then just mix the two because i really like this one but um yeah let me head to the mall and do that the mom I exchanged my Smashbox foundation in Sephora and I uh, also went by Bath and Body Works so if you remember last weekend's vlog I uh, had I had to unbox or open up the, one of the packages to my mom's birthday signs that we're gonna use for the drive-through birthday bash we're having next weekend in Houston for her birthday so actually ended up getting like a ton of um, hand sanitizers I thought it would be a good idea to do for the party favors she's making 
uh, little flower pins for everyone and in, we're going to put that in a little party bag and then inside it's going to be um, little hand sanitizers. I thought it was just appropriate, right? So I got red and gold, different red and gold uh, scents to match the theme, which the colors for the party are red and gold. So I'm going to get her cake. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do cake this year. I'm going to do some little banana cupcakes. Uh, a friend of mine who makes like specialty um, cupcakes I'm gonna ask her to make some for me and uh, yeah I think the last thing I need to do as far as the party is concerned now that I'm thinking about it is get uh, I was gonna get some custom masks made just for the family for those of us that are gonna be in the house and stuff um, with like Betty's birthday bash on there I thought that'd be a nice touch um so yeah i think that's it so my last errand today is going to the grocery store well i usually do go on sundays that is the same but um i usually try to go early in the morning like either before church or right after church online um just because it gets like real crowded and i'm a very i like to think i'm a very organized shopper it looks like can you even see my eye? anyway squirrel um so i like make out my list i um organize it by meal i write down everything i need for each meal that i'm going to be making for the week and then i already put a check mark next to stuff that i already have at the house and then the remainder of things that i need to purchase at the grocery store is in order of uh how it's located in the store i know call me ocd but uh, that's just how i like to shop it keeps me on track um, especially right now where I'm on this weight loss journey and just trying to stick to lower carb foods and um, trying to uh, not consume as much sugar so yeah actually I need to finish my water because you gotta stay hydrated out here in these streets so mm, it might be a little crowded I'll try to get some footage um, of me in the grocery store, but if not, I'll just shoot when I get home uh, a couple of things that I pick up, just regular stuff. Um, I think I'm going to make a soup for John had requested like chicken noodle soup or something. Uh, he loves like soup, stews, and meat. Like you basically just can't go wrong with him. Me on the other hand, um, I try. I have to get kind of creative with my meals, especially me being on not a diet. I'm just watching what I eat. Like I'm trying to be more mindful of what I put in my body. Granted, I did have pizza yesterday, but it was like a date day. So you know, treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> Um, but anywho, I try to get a little creative so I don't with what I eat cause, so I don't get tired or burned out. So typically I make him his meal and then I'll make my like low carb, low sugar type of meal. So yeah, I'm about to leave the mall, head to the grocery store, and then I don't think I have any other errands to run. Yeah, I'm actually going to go home. I might actually be able to get some footage um, of me. I'm like, I need to clean my, organize my closet. Some chicken broth for the soup uh chicken wings for the soup i feel like half of this stuff is just for the soup anywho um what else oh got my sausage this is also gonna go in my little potato skillet and then got some bacon i don't know if you all are like bacon snobs and you're like real particular about what brand you like but this is the brand that we like it is super delicious very thick it does not shrink when you cook it um and it just crisps up really well but yeah just FYI.
guys I can actually see the floor <laughs> it's been a it's been a minute okay um so I got organized my workout clothes for the week just so I can stay on track I got my shirts under here and then my pants are at the bottom um and then I organized my shirts black and white colored t-shirts and then my jeans in here and then I hung up, I opened up my new hangers and hung up a few pieces I had on the floor. And then I still need to change out. You see these gold ones? I was like in a hurry, maybe like a month or two ago and I needed to just grab some quick from Walmart. So now that I have all the silver ones, they can match. I'm gonna take these out. And then what else? Organize my shoe rack. Then that's laundry that I'm gonna do tomorrow before work and then take the trash out you guys <laughs> so our parents actually just surprised us and stopped by and brought us a brand new printer oh my goodness like I'm just so overwhelmed with gratefulness man it's wireless and everything so I'm just super grateful but that was so nice of them I just wanted to share thanks mom and dad Um, I'm just gonna put this stuff up, make John's chicken noodle soup in the next hour or so, and then just kind of chill. I might do a little writing for school, um, update coming up about that in the coming weeks. And, um, yeah, if anything else exciting happens, I will definitely put it, put it in the blog, but if not, I'm going to sign off here, you guys. Thanks so much for rocking with me. And as always, remember, whatever you do in life, it's a breeze. <laughs> Bye.